Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, are you there? Yes, I, I think that you can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me, right? Hello, teacher. ¿Me escuchan? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Me too. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me ask you guys, how was your day? How was your day? Well, I can see that we have Carla, we have Pablo, we have Tatiana, and we also have Emerson. So how was your day? Mm -hmm. How was it? Good, so, so, interesting, relaxing, tiring. Are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, in my case, so, so. <laughs> okay. So, so, why so, so, Carla? <laughs> why? Uh, because... Uh, uh, I need to... No. Yeah. I was the computer all day. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so... Perfect. Well, I, I think that, yeah, sometimes it's kind of tiring, right, to be in front of the computer the whole day. Absolutely, it is. Okay, what about your day, Pablo? How was it? Pablo is not there. Tatiana, are you there? Hi, miss. Hello, Tatiana. I am here. I am here. Okay, hey. so... How was your day? I am tired. Okay, and your day? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about your day, Emerson? How was it? Hello, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. My day was very fine. So. Okay. All right. Uh, Eduardo, are you there? Yeah, here. Yeah, okay, so Eduardo, how was your day? Uh, nice, very nice. So good. Okay, perfect. So tell me some of the activities that you did today, Eduardo. Dame a segundo. Deme un segundito, teacher. Ya, ya ahorita me conecto bien. Me... Okay. All right. Let me see. We also have Wendy, I think. We have George. We also have... Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wendy. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Okay, perfect. So I can see that we also have Claudia. Good evening. Okay, guys. So I hope you have had a great uh, Wednesday, right? So we are in the middle of the week. Tomorrow is Thursday. So we're almost on the weekend, right? So you're almost there. So we are going to start with today's class. And for today's class, we have the following, okay? So we have today's agenda. We have the warm up. then we are going to have a speaking time. We are going to speak a lot today. We are going to have vocabulary uh, related to uh, coffee. We also have the grammar part and we are going to be covering something about the restaurant industry. We also have uh, more speaking time. We have a grammar quiz and we also have a listening exam. Okay, and at the end, we also have educational games. So we are going to start with the first thing and as a warm up, we have a tone twister. 
So what is a tongue twister? Who can tell us what is a tongue twister, guys? What is a tongue twister? Who knows? Who knows what a tongue twister is? In Spanish, it's travel lingua. Very good. And why are tongue twisters important, George? Mm. Is what I, I, I for me is yeah, developing the the pronunciation or or faster talk mm -hmm. is um is a help to me. Mm -hmm. I can speak um very fast. Yes. Better. So yes, thank you, George. And as you said, the tongue twisters help us to improve okay the correct word is improve improve our fluency yeah so improve guys means mejorar as you know right improve yeah and we have uh this one for today it is really uh, really simple but it's for you to practice the letter p all right so this one goes like this pay attention so it says Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Yeah. Once again, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Yeah? Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to go one by one. Okay, all of you are going to participate. So let's see. Uh, first of all, Morris, can you please go? Say it, Morris. Yeah, well, Mauricio Velasquez. Perdón, perdón. Peter, Peter, pickled a peck of the pickled paper. A peck. Of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked. Mm -hmm. Is a Peter Piper picked a peck of the pickled pepper. What is the peck of the pickled pepper? Peter Piper peck. Okay. Now, Peter Piper, okay? Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Piper. Peter Piper. Thank you. Piper. Uh, George, please. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked? Very good, okay. Well done, thank you, George. Emerson? Peter, Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickles, pepper, Peter, peppers, picket. If Peter peck, peppers, picket, a peck of pickles, peppers. Where's the peck of pickles, peppers? Peter's pepper picket. Picked. All right. Picked. Thank you. Pablo? Good evening. Um, Peter Piper picked a um, peck of pickled pepper and peck up of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked. If mm -hmm. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, for the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you, just for the ones that are missing. Again, I'm going to repeat it once again so you can listen to the pronunciation. Peter Piper 
pick. Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked. Yeah, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck? Of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Yeah? Okay, let's continue. Claudia? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Picker, Piper picked a Pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of the pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Picked. Very good, Claudia. Picked. Thank you. Uh -huh. Jonathan Roberto. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked, Picked a pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So I'll be Nelly. Oh, Wendy. Okay. Uh, first Nelly and then Wendy. Okay. Nelly. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, a pick of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper, Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pick of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick? Okay, very good, Nelly. Peter Piper, thank you. Wendy. Peter Piper pick I pick oh. Picket peppers, I pick of picket pepper, I bitter paper picket, is bitter paper picket a bag of of picket peppers, where's the bag of picket peppers, the better paper picket. Okay, Peter Piper picked. Okay, Peter Piper picked. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Carlos Alberto Castro. He's not here. Okay. Eh, Carla Sofia Argueta. Guys, remember to turn on your camera. Go, Carla. Uh, Peter Piper Picket, a pick of pickle papers, a pick of pickle papers, Peter Piper Picket. Is Peter Piper Picket a pick of pickle papers? Where's the pick of pickle papers? Peppers, Peter, Piper, Picket. Okay. Remember that is picked. Picked. Pick. Oh. Yes. Okay. Picked with the letter T. Uh, let me see. Tatiana Ivon. Okay. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Okay. Peter, Peter Piper, Picket, a pack of Pico Peppers. Mm -hmm. A pack of pico peppers, Peter Piper picks. Is Peter is Peter is Peter Piper pick pick a pack of pickled peppers? Where are the packs of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picks? Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, Carlos Vladimir. Uh, Peter Piper picked a pack. Of pickled paper, a pack of pickled paper, Peter, Peter, Piper, Picker, if Peter, Piper, Picker, a pack of pickled paper, where is the pack of pickled paper, Peter, 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 Pickle. Okay, all right. So now, once again, okay, so Peter Piper, Pick. Pick Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. A peppers. 
a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. A peck of Peter Papers, Peter Piper Peppers? Peppers. 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 If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled papers. Peppers? Peppers. peppers. Where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Where is the peck of pickled papers? Peppers. peppers? Peter, Peter, Peter Piper picked. Okay, Piper. 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 Okay, Carlos, how do you pronounce this one? Peppers. Peppers. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, guys, this one is your homework. Okay, I'm going to ask you the same tongue twister on Friday. Okay, and this tongue twister should be perfect. Yeah, so you need to practice it. Okay, yeah. So Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, so in this case, um, I'm going to ask you on Friday. This one is your homework, okay? Let's move. And we are going to start with conversation time, okay? We are going to start with some questions. Okay, so let me ask you, which is cheaper? Which is cheaper for you? Tony Romas or La Pampa? Which one is cheaper for you and which do you prefer? I would like to listen to some of you. Okay, so which is cheaper and which do you prefer? Okay, in your own opinion. So let's see, do I have volunteers or should I choose? I, I need go, Carlos. Which is cheaper? Uh, the both are expensive. Okay. It's the same. Uh, for example, uh, which do you prefer? I prefer Tony Romas because my family like uh, the ribs mm -hmm. and is it's a very delicious the short ribs okay I prefer tony romas you prefer tony romas yes perfect thank you carlos okay mm, yes i think that well in my opinion is yeah tony romas i would say is better than La Pampa, right? Both are expensive, as you said before. Absolutely, both. Okay, so then uh, let's move. Okay, we also have this one. Which is cheaper for you? And which one do you prefer? Pollo Campero or Don Pollo? Okay. It's cheaper Don Pollo. You prefer Don Pollo? Yes. Okay, why? Uh, because I like chicken, and for me, it's more delicious than pollo. Than pollo, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Could be, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen. All right, somebody else? Which is cheaper for you, and which one do you prefer? Pollo campero or don pollo? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Don Pollo. You prefer Don Pollo as well, Mars? Yeah. It's Why? Very cheap. Oh, it's, it's very cheap. cheap. Okay, it, it is cheap. Okay, all right. It's more like delicious. And it is more delicious. Okay. For me. For yes. me. So I need to taste both. All right, I'm going to taste both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, so now what about this one? Which is cheaper and which one do you prefer? Pizza Hut or Papa John's? Mm -hmm. Which is cheaper?
The Papa John's is Papa John's cheaper. cheaper than Pizza Hut. Papa John's is cheaper than Pizza Hut. And which one do you prefer, George? Um, for me, the pizza is better Papa John's, but uh, Pizza Hut, they're more um, varied in the menu. Variety. Yes, there is a variety, yeah, on the menu. That is correct, yeah? So as you mentioned before, when it comes to pizza, I think that Papa John's is, in my case, right? In my personal opinion, Papa John's is more delicious than Pizza Hut. But Pizza Hut has, um, I would say, a variety on uh, the remaining. Right? Yes, because it has salad, Pastas. Pastas, soups. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that is correct. So, well, it depends, right? Very good. All right. So now let me ask you, do you drink coffee? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you drink coffee in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, in the evening? In my case, I drink coffee in the morning uh, and I and in and at night too. Really? Okay. Yeah. And what kind of coffee do you like, George? Um whatever. Uh, any? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Any uh, kind of coffee. All right, guys. So we're going to move and we're going to start with vocabulary. Okay, we are going to start with vocabulary. So let's see. As you may see right here, we have different um, adjectives, all right? We have different adjectives, and those are nine adjectives, okay? The ones that are in pink, yeah? So we have confident, impatient, moody, demanding, impulsive, rude, health conscious, lay back and sensitive. Okay, so let's study one by one so you can um, have the meaning, okay? So pay attention because we are going to use those on those nine sentences, okay? So we have the first one, which is confident. What is the meaning of Confident, what is it? What is confident? Mm -hmm. What is confident? Do you know the meaning? Mm -hmm. So confident is seguro de sí mismo, yeah? Confident means seguro de sí mismo. If you say, I am confident, you are saying, yo soy seguro de yo mismo, okay? Yeah, confident, I am confident. Yeah, you should be confident. That is a skill, okay? You should be confident. Now, what about this one? Impatient. Yeah. Uh, okay, Pablo. Uh, what is the meaning of impatient? What is impatient? Can you give me a definition in English for impatient? A definition? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So impatient means um, when someone does not like to wait. Yeah. So impatient is impaciente. Yeah. Are you impatient? 
Yes, no, maybe, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Then we also have moody. What is moody? What do you think moody is? It's a people. Mm -hmm. It's a people. Mm. You know how? Angry. Uh -huh. Angry. It's angry. A angry. Or yeah. murmurado. Correct. Moody is this type of a person that is always angry and then that person is happy and, that, and then that person mm -hmm. is sad. So moody, right, is malhumorado. It's that person changes a lot. Okay. Yeah. So moody. Yeah. Are you moody? Yeah. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay. Then we also have demanding. What is demanding? Mm -hmm. So a demanding person is this person that requires a lot of, um, I would say a lot of things, right? Demanding means demandante, yeah? So this one could be positive, but it can be also negative. It depends on the situation in which you are demanding, yeah? It depends. Yeah? If it is for something good, that is positive. But if you are demanding for something bad, that is negative, yeah? Demanding, demandante, okay? Most of the time, if you are in, uh, if you are a supervisor, because I'm pretty sure that I have supervisors here, you should be demanding. Yeah, you should be demanding in the wood way, right? Perfect. Then we also have impulsive. That is something negative, right? Impulsive. Impulsivo, impulsiva. Impulsive. Okay. Then we also have rude. What is rude? Rude means this type of person that is... Um, Pesado, yeah, impolite. Impo. Una persona impolite. Una persona que es pesada. Eh, could be grosero, grosera, pesado, pesada. Rude, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we also have health conscious. Health conscious means, well, the, the name says, right? Health conscious. So that means que es consciente eh, de la salud, ¿ok? Que siempre está consciente de las cosas que le hacen bien a su salud. Health conscious, ¿ya? Yeah? Are you health conscious? Maybe yes, maybe no, right? Then we also have laid back. That one is another adjective. And what is the meaning of laid back? Laid back is this type of person that is relaxing. If you are laid back, that means that you are relajado. Yeah, relajado. Una persona relajada, relajado. Yeah. And then we also have sensitive. And sensitive means sensible. Are you sensitive? Maybe yes, maybe no, right? Sensitive, okay? Now, let's move to the exercise. Okay, so what we need to do is that we are going to read those sentences and we need to find the adjective that goes with the sentence. For example, uh, Nicola never says things like, please, thank you, good morning. Yeah, when you do not greet, right? When usted no saluda, so you are, what do you think? Rude. Rude. When you do not say um, good morning, 
right? Please, thank you, etc. You are rude. Yes. Number two, can you please help us reading the sentence and give us the adjective that goes with it? Uh, let me see, Nelly, Lily, Beth. Number two. Paul goes running every morning and he never eats young food. food. Which is the adjective? Health, he, health, health uh, conscious. He is health conscious. Correct. Health conscious. Perfect. Thank you. Number three. Can you please help us with number three? Um, Wendy, read the sentence and give us the adjective. Uh, number three, Wendy, and then please, uh, Carla, Sofia, oh, number teacher. four. Yes. Teacher, voy en la calle ahorita, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, um, sorry. Okay. Um, okay. So, Jonathan, number three, and then four, please, Carla. Okay. Ada is not afraid to speak in public. She is? Confident, maybe. Correct. Confident. Perfect. Number four, Carla. Be, be careful what you say in front of Michael. He doesn't like it when people uh, criticize. criticize him. He is? Confident? No. <laughs> no. It says, be careful what you say in front of Michael. Mm -hmm. He is sensitive. Sensitive. Yes, he is sensitive. Okay, very good. Number five, uh, help us with number five, uh, Jose Bernardo. Okay, teacher. Uh, Joe is never stressed. He is? He is laid back. Perfect, thank you. Number six, uh, can you please help us, Karen? Katrina wants everything to be perfect all the time. Um, Mori? Mori, mm, not exactly. Mm. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, <clears throat> Katrina wants everything to be perfect all the time. So she demanding. is demanding. Mm. Very good. Thank you, Juan Jose. Excellent. Number seven, Juan Jose. Alan often does think without thinking. He is impulsive. Impulsive. Correct. Number eight, Emerson. Like waiting. If I am a five minutes late, he goes crazy. He is impatient. Impatient. Correct. Yes. Okay. And the last one, can you please help us with number nine? Let me see. I don't know if um, Marina, are you there? Hi. Okay. Yes. Number nine. At the moment, Kate is very funny, but if one minute, it can become angry or depressive. Mm -hmm. She is? Sensitive? Mm. No, no, no. Um, moody. Moody. Yes. Okay. So at the moment, Kate is very friendly, but in one minute, she can become angry or depressed. Mm -hmm. So she is moody. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys. Do you have any question about vocabulary right now? Do you have any doubt about those adjectives?
Just don't forget the pronunciation of this one. Depressed. Depressed. Okay. Let's move. Okay. I need um, two volunteers. Two volunteers. Raise your hand. Me, teacher. Jorge, okay. And... Okay, George and Carla, okay. So George, uh, please help us reading the left side of this short paragraph, okay? The left side. And Carla, please the right side, okay? So this short reading is about coffee. And pay attention, okay? Uh, George, from here, okay? What does your coffee say about you? Yeah. Okay. What are what does your coffee say about you? A new study reveals the personality traits of caffeine lovers. Every morning in the UK, caffeine lovers drink 70 million cup of coffee. However, drinking coffee doesn't just give you energy in the morning. The type of the coffee which you like to drink can also reveal a lot of about your personality, according to a new study. Mm -hmm. Clinical psychologist Dr. Ramani Durbasula analyzed uh, 100 coffee lovers and looked at common character traits. For example, patience, perfectionism, friendliness, sensitivity, and social confidence. In her results, Dr. Durvasula found that people who prefer black, black coffee have a tendency to prefer the simple life. However, they can also sometimes be ruder and more impatient than the other groups. Also, they dislike change. Yes, thank you. In contrast, latte drinkers typically want to please other people, but they can also be slightly moodier than black coffee drinkers. Uh, perfectionists, cappuccino drinkers seem to have the most demanding person personality personalities. According to Dr. Durbasula's research, they tend to be more controlling and obsessive than the other groups. They also tend to be the most sensitive group and they can be very health conditions. Mm -hmm. Instant coffee drinkers seem to be much more laid back than the other groups. Yeah. Uh, they often delay things that they need to do. Yes. Finally, people who prefer their coffee cold and sweet were considered so socially confident trans transsetters who are something impulse impulsive. Adapting, adapting from the independent by Heather Saul Friday, uh, Friday, September um, 20, 20th, 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 um, 20th, uh, 30th. Okay, 13. 13. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you guys. First of all, we are going to focus on pronunciation, okay? Because that is the most important part right now. So the first word that I would like to mention is this one. We have psychologist, yeah? Psychologist, yeah? Psychologist. Then we also have patience, pain. Patience. Then we also have perfectionism. Perfectionism. Yeah. 
with the M, yeah? Perfectionism. Then we also have mm -hmm, sensitivity. Sensitivity, yeah? Then this one, it is changes, changes, okay? We also have typically. There is a key, guys, for you whenever you see this type of words that end in Kali. So the words that end in Kali, we do not say typically. We do not say typically, uh, basically. Yeah, we do not say Kali. What we do is that we remove the letter A. So it sounds like typically. Typically, basically, yeah. You remove the letter A. Then this one, health conscious. Health conscious, okay? Guys, what, what did I say that it is um, laid back? What did I say? What is laid back? We covered this in the previous slide. What is laid back? Relajado. Relajado, thank you. All right, we also have delay, okay? And this one, what is the meaning, the meaning of trendsetters? What is the meaning of that? Trendsetters. Trendsetters. No? Okay. Um, trendsetters are um, the, the people that create trends, right? Los creadores de tendencias. We have many nowadays, right? Creadores de tendencias. Yeah? So it says, all right, this short reading is about coffee. And it says that it depends on the type of coffee that you like. So uh, it reveals the personality traits that you probably have. Yeah. So we do have the first one, okay? The ones that prefer black coffee. So it says that they have a tendency to prefer the simple life, yeah? Simple life. Then the ones, in contrast, right? The ones that like latte, uh, so they are mm -hmm, a slightly moodier, yeah? Latte, like uh, milk and coffee, right? So a slightly moodier. And it says that the ones that prefer cappuccino, they are kind of perfectionist, right? Mm -hmm. And we also have this one. Instant coffee drinkers seem to be much more laid back. If you like the instant coffee, according to this research, you are a laid back person. Yeah. And then finally, the people who prefer their coffee cold and sweet, if you are the one that loves to drink uh, cold coffee, because sometimes people love to drink cold coffee, right? And sweet, they were considered socially confident. Socially confident, right? The one that creates uh, trends, trendsetters. Okay, I don't know if this one is true or not, but this was a research, okay, that was made. Yes. Hmm? Very good. Which type of coffee do you prefer, Carla? I, mm, I prefer, I don't know, in the morning, um, <laughs> El black, coffee. black coffee, but in the afternoon, <laughs> maybe latte. Okay, mm -hmm. it depends, or right? Cappuccino. <laughs> okay, all right. What about you, Juan Jose? I prefer the black coffee, but black. sometimes I drink um, mocha with mint. 
perfect. Okay, that is delicious. Yes. What about you, Jonathan? Normally, I drink an instant coffee in the morning. Instant coffee, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Then uh, let me see. What about you, Claudia? What do you prefer? I usually drink black coffee. Black coffee. On, only in the morning. Just in the morning, okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. Yes, guys. So it depends, right? So um, I think that this article is kind of interesting, okay? All right, I'm going to say the attendance. Please say present once you hear your name, okay? So here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Yeah, thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. <laughs> Marian. Yeah, I saw Marian. I think that she is at work. Eh, Marina Jensen Sandoval. Marina. Oh, yes. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Lili Beth Andrade. Present. Yes, thank you. Norma Patricia Vázquez. Norma. Pablo Adalberto. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, I saw Pablo, but yeah, I don't see him anymore. Okay, uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Yes. And Jonathan Roberto Garcia Almendares. Yeah, present. Thank you. All right, so let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Just let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so right now what we are going to do is that I need you to please open the class because we are going to practice a little bit with uh, some questions about coffee, okay? We are going to practice for around five to seven minutes and then we are going to come back because we still need to cover uh, the book, all right? So open the class. Please open the class, open the class. Um, well, I think that some of you probably do not have the link, right? Let me, let me, um, let me send it. Um, okay, guys, there you go. This is the link where you can find your class, remember, okay? Please open that link and go to today's uh, class, which is this one, right? We are on Wednesday, March 15th, yeah? And open class three, click on it. Click on that link and you are going to have the class for today. And please go to the part uh, where it says conversation time, right after the reading. Let me just allow you to share the screen as well so you can share the screen. Okay, so here we go. Okay, guys, if you cannot participate on the speaking time, please stay here, okay? And I'm going to see if I can assign somebody else, okay, to the room. Okay.
Es que estaba arreglando una cuestión ahí. Voy a compartir la. The screen. Sí. Yes. Okay, do you have any question? Teacher, I don't found the you slide. Find, you don't find the slide yeah. um, on that link? Let me see. Let me try to find it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so is this one okay? You see? Okay, thanks. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Right. Okay, Carlos Alberto. So, do you, would you like to own your own coffee shop? Number one, do you ever? Hello? Yes, I think that you got confused, uh, Claudia. Uh, uh, Marina says number one, this one. Ah. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. This one. Yeah. Do, do you ever go to coffee shops? No, I really don't go to coffee shop. Okay. Why? Why not? Uh, because I I am not a fan of coffee, so I don't enjoy going to the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. What about you? Do you ever go to coffee shop? Um. No. Why not? Because in the office, give me coffee always. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Other combination with other things to other test coffee. But really, I like to own my own coffee shop. <laughs> For me, I like. I like. Um, on coffee because I like the coffee in different uh, flower sabor teacher flavors flavor uh, different flavor como the coffee Juan Valdez okay. different okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, different coffee it's mm -hmm. very very Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, I will ask you. I don't know how to yeah. say the person with specialist preparing coffee. Yeah. I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how to say that in Spanish. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm not sure, even in <laughs> Spanish. Uh -huh. But there is yeah. a word. Uh -huh. the, when the, the people make a make a coffee uh, figure figure in the cup. Um, no. Yes, yes, I know what you mean, but I don't know the name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, next. Yes. Next three. Okay. Your question, Juanjo. Okay. Which is better, coffee or tea? Why? 
for me is coffee with a cof caffeine coffee coffee in in English coffee caffeine caffeine with a coffee okay he uh okay no I don't like tea <laughs> okay <laughs> you okay okay before I remember barista Barista, it's Barista. called. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was looking for it, and it is called, yeah, um, Barista. I want to take a course about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, I think that um, it is really interesting, right? Because they can create a lot of things, but I think that is difficult. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. L like testing wine, something like that. Yes, okay, yeah. that is correct. Um, so barista actually is going to be the the bartender. Okay. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, for me, the coffee or tea. I prefer coffee, but I drink tea too. Okay. And because. Um, both are good and I prepare different tea, green tea or, or mm -hmm. black tea or something something else. Uh, I think that the, the, the tea is perfect when you want to relax, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Manzanilla tea. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Uh -huh. Jengibre, jengibre. Jengibre tea. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, how do you say jengibre? Ginger. Ginger. Uh -huh. And how do you say uh, manzanilla? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So you say it uh, chamomile. Cam chamomile. 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 Uh, ca chamomile. chamomile. Yeah, chamomile. Uh, chamomile. Let, yeah, chamomile. Uh, let me send it in the chat, okay? I'm going to send it. Okay. Yeah, chamomile. Chamomile. Ka. It ka. is not cha, it's ka. Chamomile. Chamomile. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Chamomile. Okay. okay. Next. Uh, after the question number three, we have to continue with yes, other? with with the other. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should children Should drink, children drink coffee? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for me, children uh, no drink coffee mm -hmm. because. Uh, because have a caffeine mm -hmm. and they is get ve it's very addictive it is a, yes that is correct yes I think the same mm -hmm. is not uh, the children shall the children shall not drink coffee okay Okay. Okay. Next number say? two. Uh -huh. uh, coffee represent uh, difficult of the growing of the the children. Mm -hmm, maybe. But. Mm -hmm. affect. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mm, our country is is normal. Mm -hmm. And when I when I. When I uh, children, I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, Me too. <laughs> how do you say biberon? How do you say biberon? I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> milk, milk with drink coffee, coffee or, for or me is normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Next, have you ever tried coffee, iced coffee? If yes, do you like it? Mm. 
Mm. Have you ever tried? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember in the in the food market, it sold um, a kind of of glass of, of, of glass or or recipient. Ah, okay, a recipient uh, that the coffee. I remember, and yeah, I I I drink iced coffee, and I remember I liked I liked it. Okay, guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. So let me ask you, okay, guys, should children drink coffee? What do you think? For me, not. For me, uh, uh, the children drink drinking coffee is is very bad for your health. For, for your... their health. Okay. In yes. Case, uh huh. In my case, yes, uh, the children drink coffee. But how do you say diluido? Menos fuerte. Okay. Mm, I would say soft, ah, right? Okay. Soft, uh -huh. yeah. Soft coffee. Mm -hmm. I, I think. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, go because, here. Because uh, my sons uh, drink coffee uh, since uh, six years old. Yeah, since okay. they were five years old. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Well, yes, it could be, um, as you mentioned before, diluted coffee, right? Like diluido, but but um, it depends, I think, because sometimes they can get really hyperactive, right? And, and the coffee is also a drug. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it depends, okay? And would you like to own your own coffee shop? Do you think that that would be um profitable uh i don't like i don't like uh this i don't like this this line the business the the business okay i, I don't like the business uh, the line the business why not uh is uh recur uh, my opposite uh I, I don't like uh con uh tratar con customer como... oh you don't like to deal with customers okay 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 got it Eduardo mm -hmm. and you Carlos in my case uh this business I don't like because the coffee machine is very expensive and really? there yes and there are uh, many coffee shops in the San Salvador, for example. Uh, the is not. I don't like this business too. Um. Yes, I think that there are many coffee shops, as you've said before, but there is also a big demand of yes. customers, right? That they really love to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yes, I get your point. Well, okay. Let's go back to the main room, okay? We are going to continue with our class, okay? Let's go back. Yes. Okay, so let's continue with our class, guys. Let me just share my screen. Okay. So now we are going to talk about restaurant vocabulary. Um, okay, I'm going to choose uh, some volunteers to help me reading the information that we have. Tatiana, please help me reading side dish, uh, Carla, a snack, uh, Jonathan, a starter, Daisy, a drink, Kenya, main course, and uh, Carlos Vladimir, dessert. Yeah, 
Go, Tatiana. Say this. A serving of a position of food in addition to the principal food, usually on a separate dish. Okay, thank you. A snack. A snack, a light meal food eating between regular meals. Perfect. A starter. Mm -hmm. A starter, Jonathan. Sorry. A um, starter, a small dish of food that is served before the main course of a meal. Mm -hmm. A drink. Mm -hmm. A drink. No? Okay, um, let me choose somebody. Uh, Nelly, a drink? A drink. Yes. A liquid suitable for as swallowing pr pr provide. <laughs> With food and drink. Yes, perfect. Provided. Main course. Main course. The main course is usually the biggest dish on a menu. The main ingredients ingredient is often meat or fish. Perfect. Thank you, Kenya. Dessert. Dessert. A usually sweet course of dish, as of pastry or ice cream, usually served at the end of the meal of a meal okay so now uh, this one is going to be pastry okay pastry. pastry pastry yes do you know what is pastry do you have any idea guys somebody pastry sounds like a postre mm -hmm. yes yes it is Sorry. that okay it is actually a uh, postre, okay? So um, pastry, guys, is going to be um, postre, but like a uh, reposteria. But yes, okay, it's the same. It's like dessert, right? But pastry is reposteria, yeah? Um, okay, so we have vocabulary. Side dish, a starter, main course, a snack, drink and dessert yeah now let's move and let's go to uh vocabulary about food all right we also have mashed potatoes el puré right mashed potatoes we have salad we have fries do you like tomato soup do you like tomato soup or no guys Tomato yes. soup? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Teacher. it is delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Tomato soup is delicious with, with a lot of cheese, right? And fried tortillas, right? Delicious. Then we also have fried chicken wings. Yeah, fried chicken wings. Those are delicious as well, right? We also have meatballs. Meatball. Yeah, what are meatballs? What are meatballs? Bolitas. Ajá, las bolitas de carne, right? Bonitas. Very good. We also have drinks. Water, Water. Coke, Coke, orange juice, orange. red wine, red wine. Beer. Beer. Mm -hmm. We also have desserts. Chocolate cake, fruit mm -hmm. salad, and ice salad. cream. Mm -hmm. Some desserts, right? And we also have the main course, those were starters, okay? And those are main course. So we have grilled fish. Do you like fish, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay, it is delicious, okay? What about burgers? Do you like burgers? It's my favorite. Okay, <laughs> yes, okay, so yeah. burgers, okay, main course, pizza, Roasted chicken, spaghetti, calamari, beef stew. Do you like beef stew? Yeah. So yeah. beef stew is like 
carne guisada. Mm -hmm. Correct. And we also have pork ribs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's continue. And let's see. Uh, George, please be Nancy and Mauricio be Jennifer. Okay. Are you ready, Mauricio? Mauricio? Yes, ready. Okay. How well are the new min how well are the new menu it items doing? Yes. The main fees and chips corp are doing great. 90, 99% of the people like them. The new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of all customers like it. Yes. Let me check the online pools for recent products. Mm -hmm. Jess, just like to you say, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 18% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake, sign not many people. Yeah, well. Okay, so let's see. Um, do you have questions about vocabulary? What is the meanings of polls? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Nancy says. Yes. So let me check the online polls. Okay, polls are those type of surveys. Encuestas, polls. This is a really common term nowadays, right? Even you can make polls on WhatsApp. I don't know if you, if you have seen that option, but in your company, they can send uh, some type of, of polls, como encuestas, yeah? Short polls, okay? Uh, okay, now let me see. What is your favorite starter, guys? What is your favorite starter in the restaurant? In a restaurant, well, here we have a couple of starters, some examples, right? Tomato soup, fried chicken wings, right? Or it could be meatballs, but it depends because sometimes we can have also fries, right? Or salads. Uh -huh. What is your favorite starter? Nachos. Nachos. Yes, so delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Uh -huh. Yes, in Papa John's. <laughs> Papa John's, right? Uh -huh. Papa John's. Uh, do they still have the all-you-can-eat? No, right? Not anymore, I think, because I haven't seen any advertising about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Let's move. All right. So we also have building vocabulary. Okay. So we have, as you can see right here, the starters, the snacks, main courses, desserts, and drinks. Okay. So let's see. What do you think the Thai chicken and rice is? Is it a uh, starter, a snack, main course, dessert, or drink? Thai chicken and rice. Main course. Main course. French onion soup. Starter. 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 Perfect. Starter. Burger. Main course. Main course. Main course, okay. What about cheese and tomato sandwich? Snacks. Okay, snacks. Okay, snacks, right? Could be. What about what about lemon cake? Desserts, desserts, right? Real fish and potatoes. Main course. Main course. Main course, right? Green salad. Starters. 
Saturday. Yes, Saturday. English tea. Drinks. Drinks. Pink lemonade. Drink. Yes, Drink. and fruit salad and cream. Desserts. 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 Right? Very good, guys. Okay, let's continue. So right now it says, okay, work in groups and organize a menu for a fast food restaurant in your city. Okay, so the menu needs to have five categories. Appetizers, snacks, main course, desserts, and drinks. Do you know the meaning of appetizers? Those are the same as starters, yeah? So in this case, what we are going to do is that we are going to work on teams and we are going to create a menu, okay, for a restaurant. You need to create the name of the restaurant as well and you need to decide like this like a chart, as you can see right here, okay? You need to choose the starter, the snack, the main course, the dessert, and the uh, drink, okay? Choose one day of the week, let's say Wednesday, okay? And create a menu, okay? And the name of the restaurant. I'll give you only five minutes, okay? So you better hurry up because you're going to do this uh, with your team, all right? So let me just recreate your rooms and I'm going to assign more because you are going to work better in that way. Okay. Estoy copiando la imagen. We'll share. Hola. Nice. So, um, no sé si usted comparte que yo estoy en el celular. Solo para. Solo este que yo tengo. Pero, ¿no? eh, digamos que el restaurante, ¿qué sería? Podría ser comida china, mexicana. Mm. It has to be fast food, teacher. No. No. No, no, it doesn't matter, okay? It could okay. be, yeah, uh, I would say um, a fancy restaurant, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, hi, tell me. Hi, we had a question. Tell me. The activity is for all the week or one day? Just one day. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yes, just one day. Okay. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Chicken grill or grill chicken? No. Grill chicken. Grill chicken. Grill chicken. Grill. chicken. No, eh, in the rest, Bridget. 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 Uh -huh. eh, uh, chicken. In the dessert, in the dessert is, I like to. Uh, <laughs> en order se llama uh, eh, eh, lemon pie lemon pie oh brownie también 
in the dream, uh, coconut froze, frozen. Frozen. Yeah, uh, in dream, coconut frozen. Mm. Coconut. Ah, oh, coconut. No, no. No. <laughs> Or um, and so that so, is is coconut coconut ah coconut es el muñeco coconut coconut frozen and soda. Okay. Only one or other dish. Only. Only but one. is it necessary to three? Um, my connection. Other starters. Mm. I started uh, Onion rings. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Onion rings is in a snack. Mm. Onion rings, main course. Ah, no, no. Make. Onion rings. Rings. Uh -huh. Start Buffalo wings. Broth. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. Uh -huh. uh, with milk, no, pork tacos with milk cheese. Supuestamente mm. fan. Eh, dessert. Ah, algo mexicano que sea un postre. Mm. Postre oh. mexicano que da. Ah, ahí que están los. El pin de limón. Ginger, ginger tea. Eh, no. ¿Cuál otra vez? Eh? Eh, ginger tea. Teacher, ¿es de los tres tiempos de comida o en específicamente solo desayuno? It could be um, breakfast, lunch or dinner. You decide. Ah, ok. Yeah, you decide. Uh -huh. Salad with starter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, salad. Uh -huh. Maybe nachos with cheese. Yes. With, with snacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a starter, maybe caldo. Okay. Pero ¿cómo se dice caldo? O sea, let's say caldo en inglés. Yes, um, you can say it. Um... Eh, 
es, es como soap. No. Mm, yes, but there is another word. Caldo puede ser de, de cualquier cosa o... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Digamos un caldo de, de carne o pollo. Yeah. So it should be chicken broth. Chicken broth. Yeah. Let me send it. Chicken Hello? broth. Yeah. Chicken broth. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the chat. I send it uh, here in the chat. Ah. Yeah. A ver, a ver. Broth. Yeah. Broth vendría siendo como el caldo. caldo. En, en snack eh, are nachos, Juan. Yes, nachos okay. with cheese. Mm -hmm. Meat sauce, meat sauce, it makes sense. Meat sauce, salsa de carne. En, en, o no se dice en así. Course. Yes. Yes, like that one. Okay. In the search. Oh, I make course. What did you say in make course? Uh, que no dijo la salsa. Uh, no, era un complemento de los nachos. Ah, de los nachos. <laughs> okay. Pero no es mucho. Bueno, es que a mí no me gustan. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, makers. Pizza. No, ¿quién dijo que la hamburguesa era la favorita? No puse. No, yo no, tampoco me gustan. Oh my God, Karen. <laughs> Qué barbaridad. Yeah. Maybe makers and roast beef. Ah, sí, 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 yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. With salad. Astronomo del mundo o el mundo de la comida. <laughs> okay, are you done? Yes. Yes, Okay. Miss. So, what is the name of the restaurant? <laughs> um, the World Foodie. Okay, perfect. So, just give me one minute. You are going to present uh, in the main room, but uh, the other teams are still working, okay? Give me one minute, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Let me see. Ready? Yes. yes in that you're ready, okay. Um, let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back so you can okay. present, yeah. Carla and your team, can you please present what you did? Yes. Okay. 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 Hi. Okay. Okay. My. Co-worker was uh, Carlos. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and uh, our menu menu is a starters, Caesar salad, mm -hmm. fries, and broccoli cream. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> For snacks, balls, crab, onion rings, and chili. Okay. Main course, grilled chicken, mm -hmm. grilled meat, and hamburger. And hamburger. Okay, and desserts, uh, brownie, lemon pie, and cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And drinks, coconut frosting, soda, and iced tea. Iced tea, okay. So, pronunciation, grilled Chicken, okay? Grilled. Yeah, grilled chicken. Yes, thank you. Claudia and your team.
Claudia, Tatiana, Wendy. No. Okay. Emerson, Jose Bernardo, in Kenya. Can you share, Bernardo? Yes, any of you guys, okay? Our appetizers are fry, french fries, onion rings, mini sandwich, cheese and jam, a chicken broths. Our snacks are potato chip, nachos, pretzels, nuts. Okay. And uh, our main scores are spaghetti, fried chicken, meat soup, fried fish, and the desserts are chocolate cakes, cheesecake, ice cream, tiramisu. Mm -hmm. And finally, our drinks are soda, iced tea, and coffee. Okay, um, go up, please. Just go, yeah, I, yeah. So remember that dessert goes with double S, okay? Yeah, dessert, yeah, double S, okay? Dessert, and if you want, add the letter S to make it plural, desserts. Thank you, all right. Uh, okay, so let me see. Uh, Jonathan, George, and Nelly. Okay. Um, we we are the QR foodie, mm -hmm. and for the first menu we have a uh, garlic bread for starters, mm -hmm. chicken and fried sandwich in the snacks, and in the main course chicken and fried pasta and desserts vanilla ice cream and for dreams pink lemonade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe I. Yes. For the second option, we have for the starter nachos with chilies. For the snack, tomato soup. For the main course, uh, tacos. Mm -hmm. For dessert, fruit salad. And the drinks, Coke. Perfect. Well, in the last menu we have a uh, salad the snacks is chicken wings main course is burger the shirt is a brownie and drinks iced tea perfect okay excellent okay that's the way that you should work perfect uh, okay uh, juan jose herrera and karen Jose, can, ring, can you? Uh, I is the read in the my notebook. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the starter yogurt and a snack cookies and my courses typical breakfast eggs beans and bread. Mm -hmm. And dessert, lemon pie, and drinks, uh, orange juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for lunch, a chicken broth, and a snack nachos with cheesy, 
and make courses roast beef with salad and potatoes, dessert brownie, and drinks wine. Okay, a cheese, okay? And remember, yogurt, yeah? Yogurt, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Eh, Eduardo and Mauricio. Mauricio, hey. would you mean read this, please? Okay. okay. Started the uh, uh, potato soup, tomato okay. soup, French onion soup, and green salad. Okay. Uh, snap, a uh, chicken sandwich, barley bread, nachos. Cheese and tomato sandwich. Okay. Uh, May of course. Uh, German sauce. Sauce and chips. Mm -hmm. uh, Thai chicken and rice. Mm -hmm. Burger. Fish and rice. Yes. Green uh, fish and potato. Okay. And the serve. Ice cream with salad and cream and lemon cake. Okay. Green. Irish cream coffee. Irish. Irish cream coffee. Mm -hmm. English, English tea. Pink lemonade. A ginger tea. Okay. Pink lemonade. Okay. Pink lemonade. Excellent. Okay, thank you guys. Very good, all right? So now let's move and we are going to continue with the listening, okay? We are going to take the first quiz, which is listening, okay? Uh, let me share my screen and the sound. Okay, guys, uh, please go to the, to, the, um, to the spreadsheet. Well, I'm going to get it for you, okay? Because I think that you don't have it. Okay, just for the ones that probably do not have the link, Okay, but remember that you can find all of this information um, on the spreadsheet, okay? So let's open the listening exam, okay? There you go, that is the link. Remember that the passcode, okay? The passcode is going to be listening. Siempre va a ser la misma contraseña, okay? Que es listening y es letra mayúscula, okay? Open it, ábralo, open it. Y me avisa cuando ya esté in, ¿ok? Me dice, teacher, I am in. Ready, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Pray. Thank you. Ok, who is not ready? Who is not ready? I'm ready. You're ready? Okay. Um, all of you are ready? Should I play it? Yes, maybe? No jet? Yes, teacher. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to play it twice, okay? Two times. Yeah. This is about um, a person that is sick. Okay. So you are going to hear uh, this person... Okay, um, probably doing some type of, uh, um, I would say, sounds, okay? So let's pay attention, guys. Give me one second. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <clears throat> Jacob? <clears throat> Hi. You sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck, that sounds awful. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I, 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 we'll see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh. Okay. The second time. 
Here we go. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <clears throat> Jacob? <clears throat> Hi. <clears throat> you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold, and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck, that sounds awful. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure, I... I I uh, will see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Okay. Are you ready or do you need me to play it an extra time? Ready? You can repeat. Okay. I'm going to play it. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <clears throat> Jacob? <clears throat> Hi. <clears throat> you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold, and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck. That sounds awful. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for, t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I... I... Uh, we'll see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let me see your scores. Can you please uh, send your answers? Let me see. Okay. Very good. Excellent. I can see that most of you got 100. Most of you. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. All right. So now, before continuing, let's, uh, let me go ahead and, okay. We are going to make the review on fanboys. Okay. Let's make the review on fanboys. Um, Juan Jose, can you please help us reading all of this? Okay. Uh, beginning in four, because or red, red uh, words. Oh no, the fumbles. Okay. Four, because, and in addition to, nor, nor, but, however, or, or, yet. But, so, therefore. Thank you, guys. Which of those show contrast? Which shows contrast from the fanboys? Jet. Jet, Jet. okay. And which explains reason or purpose? For. For. And which indicates effect, result, or consequence? So. So. And which adds one thing to another? Another. And. And. And, and which and. presents an alternative or a choice? Or. 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 Very good. Okay, guys. Questions about this? Questions about fanboys? No? Okay, but help me reading the examples, George. All of the examples. Okay. I want to go to Italy for its culture. I love to eat chicken and I love to drink Coke. She doesn't like strips nor does she like fish. Mm -hmm. I want to buy a new computer, but I don't have any money. We can study English or we can go to France. She's cute yet angry. Mm -hmm. I went to the cinema, so my mom bought the tickets. 
thank you, all right? Pronunciation, angry, Eng. angry, yeah? Friends, yeah, friends. And this one, shrimps, shrimps, yeah? Uh, are, okay, so <clears throat> shrimps are camarones, yeah? Perfect. Okay, guys, so now let's take the other quiz. Let's take the, the second uh, quiz, okay? Let's take uh, the second one, the one that is about grammar. Okay, let me get the link for you. Where is it? Yeah. The coordinating conjunctions exam. This is a short quiz, okay? It's about five, uh, five questions. It's not that long, okay? So there you go. And the passcode is going to be grammar. Okay? So please open it and take the quiz, take it. Then we are going to continue, okay? Um, I'll give you uh, five minutes, okay? You will see the timer.
Okay, guys. So let me see if you all finish. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I can see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's continue. Okay, let's continue with uh, the class uh, um, for today. Let's move and let's talk about this kind of bill. Okay, this is a bill. Yes. Um, Claudia, can you please help us reading this part? All of this. Downtown coffee. Number of people, two. May 7, tw uh, 20, uh, 20, 2007. Uh, one sala for that uh, is correct for that 55. That. Uh, no, in this case, you can say just 445. Ah, okay. For 55. One sandwich, 350. One hamburger, seven thirty-five. One order of French fries, two twenty-five. One piece of pie, three forty-five. Two cups of coffee, one fifty. Sub total, twenty-two sixty. Yes. Sales tax, uh, eight twenty-five percent, mm -hmm. one eighty-seven. Tax is money for the government. Total, twenty-four forty-seven. Perfect. Okay. So whenever we have uh, this type of uh, years, okay, you can say twenty o seven. Yeah, twenty o seven or two thousand seven. Okay. Yeah, and when we have uh, quantities like this, you can say. $4.55, or if we are seeing the same information as you are saying it, right? So use 440, uh, $4.55 in this case, yeah? $4.55, $3.50, $7.35, $2.25, $3.45, and $1.50, because we are seeing that it is, uh, actually there is a, a point right there. But if not, you should say, Four dollars and fifty-five cents. Because if we say just four forty, a uh, four fifty-five. I don't know why I have forty-five. Okay, four fifty-five. In this case, uh, it could be cuatro cinco. Okay, uh -huh. but since we are seeing it, como estamos viendo, lo puede decir así: four fifty-five. Yeah. Now let's move. What is a tip? Um, can you please help us reading this information, Wendy? Lo siento, teacher, no le escuché, disculpe. Yes, can you please help us reading this? Read this. Que lo lea. Yes. Uh, what is tip customer lip tips for servers? Tips. Uh, I thank you for good service. Mm -hmm. At this between one five percent. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Sixteen and um, twenty. Twenty of the subtotal. Okay. Subtotal. Subtotal. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So remember this one is fifteen. And 15, this one is 20. 20. Yes. Four what five. is, yes, correct. What is the meaning of a uh, of tip? What is tip or tips? Tips. Like tips. an advice. Propina. Propina. Okay. Yes. Yes. Tip. Okay. Or tip in another context. Another context, as you said, um, in this case, George, I think it is um, like advice. But in this case, we are talking about restaurants. So a tip is propina. Yeah. 
Very good. Okay, let's continue, guys. So let's see. Let me ask you a couple of questions according to this bill, okay? How much is a hamburger at the downtown cafe? How much? How much is a hamburger? $7.35. $7.35, perfect. And how much is a cup of coffee at the downtown cafe? One fifty. One sixty. Sorry. No. For two. For two. Seventy-five cents. Seventy-five cents for one. Perfect. And how much is the tax on this bill? One eighty-seven. Excellent. And how much is the total? Twenty-four. Twenty-four dollars. Very good, okay, excellent. Okay, guys, let's move. We are going to cover this one tomorrow, okay? So let's move this one, it's been covered, but I would like to practice this with you, okay? Stop the bus, yeah? Uh, stop the bus is the same as bachillerato stop. We are going to play with two letters, okay? In this case, I'm going to give you the letter, for example, letter A, and you need to look for a verb in present, a fruit, and an adjective that starts with that letter in English, okay? It's the same as bachillerato stop, okay? If I say letter A, that means verb in present, okay? Verbo en presente. For example, act, fruit, apple, adjective, amazing, yeah? Okay, so the, uh, we're going to play with one letter because of the time. Tomorrow we are going to continue, but let's see. So give me a verb in present, a fruit, and an adjective with the letter, let me see, with the letter C. Good. Verb in present? Good. Good, okay. Fruit? Coconut. Coconut and an adjective. Cute. Cute. Perfect. Okay. So I think that we, we yeah, we are we are done with the class because it's 10 already. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this activity. Um, just for today, guys, please uh stay with me. Let me see. Uh Daisy Elizabeth, are you there? Daisy? Eduardo Franco? Present. Okay, please stay with me, all right? Then the other ones, guys, you may go ahead and, and rest, okay? Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Take care, okay? Good night, good night guys. Good night. Good night. good night, guys. Take good care. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Wendy. Okay. So let's see, Eduardo, uh, let me see. Okay, so this is actually um, the time for us to have feedback, okay? This is um, a short time uh, of 10 minutes, okay? Because I would like to know more about you, okay? I would like to know who is Eduardo, yeah? I would like to know um, if you have studied English before, if this is the first time that you are learning with us or if you have taken uh, basic modules with us. Um, well, first of all, that. I would like to know more about you when it comes to the English language, about your background. Okay, thank you. First, uh, I, I have, uh, I have lagging internet. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, me, me, bueno, ahorita un español que ya le voy a decir por qué. Okay, por el internet, yes. Me cuesta ahorita bastante, me podría decir, me siento quizás estoy como una, quizás una etapa ahora que entramos aquí a intermedio que me he sentido un poco como que, como un poco frustrado, ya podría decirlo. Eh, el hecho de que, de que no siento en mí que vaya avanzando mucho con uh -huh. el tema del inglés. Okay. Entonces, quizás solo ese es el detalle. Y ahí lo demás, como está llevando usted en la casa, pues yo estoy agarrando bastante. La... 
lástima, el día de ayer no me pude conectar, por cierto. Uh -huh. Tuve un problema personal y no, no me conecté. Entonces, me desactualicé un poco. No obstante, voy a, mañana si tengo un chancecito, voy a tratar de ver la clase del día de ayer. Eh, okay. Esto, esto, este... Pues no sé, ¿verdad? no sé, a veces pienso, tengo un problema también con el tema de que a veces en la mente sí. puedo armar la, la palabra, o la oración en inglés, pero a la hora de expresarla, eh, se, me hace, se, se me complica todo, porque tengo el tema de que estoy pensando en español y, y voy traduciendo lo que quiero decir, lo digo primero en español en mi mente, después lo quiero traducir, lo que estoy diciendo, pero no es fácil, it's not that easy. Yes, it's not that easy. Ok. Eh, ok, bien, Eduardo. Eh, ¿Con nosotros ha estudiado los demás módulos o este primer eh, año que está con nosotros? Eh, bueno, es el, todo el módulo básico lo hice con inglés corporativo. Ok. O sea que ha venido con la secuencia desde, desde básico 1. Sí, así. Perfecto, muy bien. Eh, bien, Eduardo. Bueno, eh, creo que sí, eh, como que se le corta un, un, como un poquito el internet, pero espero que me escuche, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, en este caso, sí, eh, si nos damos cuenta, tal vez entrando al nivel intermedio, como usted lo dice, es un poquito distinto, porque es mandatorio que nosotros pues hablemos en inglés, ¿verdad? No podemos hablar español e incluso en los eh, módulos básicos, en la mayor parte, ¿verdad? Se debe de hablar en inglés. Ahora, eh, el cambio tal vez es un poquito eh, significativo, ¿verdad? Ya que, eh, como usted me, me menciona, se ha sentido como que usted tal vez no ha venido avanzando. Sin embargo, si usted está en el intermedio, considero de que es por algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, eh, es importante saber que en algún momento, Eduardo, todos pasamos por eso, todos pasamos por sentirnos como, eh, puedo decir que no avanzamos, ¿verdad? Pero el detalle aquí es que va a hacer usted para sobresalir de eso, ¿verdad? Porque podemos decir, yo me siento que no estoy aprendiendo o que tal vez estoy un, po un poco frustrado porque siento que no avanzo. Pero ¿qué estamos haciendo? A aparte de las clases, ¿verdad? Porque las clases son dos horas diarias. Pero aparte de las clases, ¿qué más hacemos? ¿Qué más hace usted para adquirir vocabulario, para adquirir fluidez, para adquirir eh, la confianza en el idioma? ¿Qué hacemos aparte de las clases? Bueno, yo, la verdad, cuando estamos en este periodo de transición de un módulo a otro, que es cuando dedico parte de la noche, pero más que todo busco videos en YouTube. Hay bastante gente que tenga en YouTube. Hay canales que, son, que, que dan clases gratis y todo eso. Me meto mucho, porque tengo, conozco varios canales de eso. También he bajado algunas aplicaciones en el teléfono. Hoy casi no las he estado ocupando, pero al principio estuve ocupando unas aplicaciones que me tiraban el video en inglés. Después me hacían también un, un quiz o un examen. Y, y después me hacía que lo escribiera, que lo repitiera. Inclusive he hablado. La aplicación era bastante buena. Uh -huh. Entonces, algunas cosas así sí he hecho. Lo que pasa es que también... A veces no le dedico todo el tiempo que se merece, ¿verdad? Porque tengo otras cosas que hacer. Pero sí. he, he estado haciendo cosas. No, no me quedo solo con lo que tengo aquí. Sí. Bien, Eduardo. Mire, eso es muy bueno que usted, pues, busque eh, nuevos, como, eh, nuevas técnicas para aprender el idioma. Como le digo, eh, tal vez en este momento, como usted me mencionó, que se siente frustrado porque ve que no avanza. Sin embargo, lo que yo le puedo aconsejar en este momento es que siga tal vez haciendo todas esas cosas que, que hace, de buscar videos, de eh, buscar en YouTube, en Internet, hay muchísimos eh, links, ¿verdad? Y aparte, 
Eduardo, yo le puedo aconsejar que al menos en, en nuestras clases, porque si ya se fijó la mayor parte de la clase, ustedes hablan, porque sí. el, um, el objetivo es que ustedes pierdan ese miedo y que ustedes vean que van avanzando, porque si le enseñamos solamente gramática y gramática y solamente yo hablo y solamente yo hablo, entonces el, el proceso de aprendizaje para ustedes es bien lento. Entonces, tal vez en este momento hemos sentido un poquito el cambio, pero lo que yo le puedo aconsejar es que siempre que usted tenga la oportunidad de participar, hágalo. Cuando yo pida voluntarios para leer, lea, porque solamente así va a adquirir un poquito más de confianza y usted va a ver que va a ir avanzando un poquito más. Pero es importante que que venzamos esa barrera que tenemos eh, y si usted vence eso, eh, va a ver que va a sentir que va a ir avanzando poco a poco, porque no es fácil, pero tampoco es imposible, ¿sí? sí. Entonces, lo que yo le puedo aconsejar es, número uno, ¿verdad? Eh, hemos empezado intermedio y vamos bien, no se desmotive, no se frustre, porque todos pasamos por eso, e incluso todos los que hemos estudiado el idioma hemos pasado por eso, ese mismo periodo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero aquí es, ¿qué vamos a hacer nosotros? Entonces, en mi clase al menos, voy a tratar de hacer que participe más, ¿verdad? Para que usted vaya viendo que en realidad no es que no avance, sino que tal vez no participamos lo suficiente para poder nosotros eh, corregir, ¿verdad? Eh, también eh, ver en qué está fallando usted, darle vocabulario, pronunciación, etcétera, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, número uno, no se desmotive, siga adelante, que el idioma es, eh, al principio cuesta, pero después es súper fácil, ¿ok? okay. Eh, sí, el día, de, eh, el, de, el día de ayer no lo vi, es cierto. Entonces, eh, a veces, con, con que no nos conectemos un día, eh, per, perdemos bastante información, porque a veces doy bastante información que no está en el libro, pero es relacionada con los temas del libro. Entonces, eh, le voy a, a pedir que cuando usted no pueda conectarse, ¿verdad? Lo que haga así es ver la, la clase y cuando tal vez usted esté ocupado, ¿verdad? O tal vez usted, pues, de verdad no puede estar presente en el caso de, de participar, ¿verdad? Entonces, conéctese siempre como oyente, pero hágame saber que se va a conectar para que yo, pues, no le esté hablando, ¿verdad? Diciéndole, Eduardo, Eduardo. Entonces, para que... Eh, que estemos todos en sintonía en eso. Eso le voy a aconsejar para que estés escuchando todo lo que estamos viendo en la clase. Y después ya no tenga que ver el video en su tiempo libre, porque a veces usted tal vez no tiene mucho tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso le puedo aconsejar. Eh, lo otro, pues, eh, quiero verlo más participativo. Yo quiero que participe más, Eduardo. ¿Ok? Bien. Eh, bien. Eh, con la dinámica de la clase... ¿Se ha sentido eh, tranquilo? ¿Se ha sentido normal? ¿Hay algo que eh, me quiera comentar con la dinámica de la clase que ha tenido conmigo? Sí, este, no, la dinámica está perfecta. Siempre lo que pasa es que lo demás es de uno, no, no de usted. Lo demás, lo demás es que uno a veces siente un poco nervioso porque a veces siente que no ha entendido bien lo que le están preguntando o lo que se está haciendo y entra con duda hacer las cosas y eso. Sí. Pero es cuestión de costumbre. Sí, es cuestión como que se acostumbre y tal vez pues al principio, los primeros días, esa semana es como de adaptación, ¿verdad? Todo es de adaptación. Ya luego van a ver que ya vamos a ir como entrando más eh, como en, en, en el idioma, porque es bien, di, es bien distinto, porque que venimos de una clase y después pasamos a otro módulo, diferente maestro, tienen que adaptarse al método, etcétera. Entonces, eh, la primera semana es para que ustedes se adapten y ya va a ver que la otra semana va a estar un poquito, eh, va a soltarse un poquito más, ¿verdad? Porque yo entiendo que al principio tienen miedo o pena, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, lo que le puedo aconsejar es eso. Siga adelante, no se desmotive, va poco a poco, lento pero seguro, ahí va, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, trate de eh, escuchar música en inglés, ¿Verdad? Lea, dele, eh, si tiene sus redes sociales, dele like a páginas en inglés, que pongan imágenes en inglés, que enseñen vocabulario en inglés, ¿Verdad? Para que usted haga eso eh, de tener todo en inglés, eh, su, su ambiente, ¿Verdad? Que sea en el idioma inglés. Perfecto. Ok.
Bien, bueno Eduardo, básicamente pues eh, cualquier duda, pregunta, no dude en hacérmela, ok, usted puede escribir al grupo de WhatsApp o me puede escribir a mí para que yo pueda solventarle alguna duda de algún tema, ok, que a usted no le ha quedado claro, por favor siempre pregúnteme, ok, no okay. se quede con la duda y pues eso, no sé si tiene algo más que agregar con la plataforma, no ha tenido problemas. No, 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 de hecho con la plataforma todavía no comenzó a trabajar, mañana la voy a la voy a tratar de terminar la, esta semana. Ok, bye. Perfecto. Thank you. Ok, so then I'll see you back tomorrow. Lo veo el día de mañana. Descanse. Okay. Buenas noches. Ok.